How, how much are we yeah. guessing, Brent? How many kilometres from where to who? Here to Birdsville. Oh, mate, I can't remember. 2,000. Awesome. No, it'd be over 2,000. Nah. Nah. It's not. I'm back. Well, just from here, like literally the most just straight across. Route. Yeah, well, you could go down mm, south to Hungerford, and then yeah, up. This yeah. is why this car has been brought to us for its third stage of its build. Yeah, Tom's car's back because Tom is doing a desert trip with his family, I suppose. Three hundred. This yeah. thing. So, yeah. So protection, protection for all the Australian icons that seem to be pretty dumb and don't have much road safe and like to jump in front of you. Um, uh, I was like, who are you talking about? <laughs> I thought he was talking about a person. Look, it'd, <laughs> it'd stop a lot of animals. Out that way, you get a few camels and wild donkeys don't and stuff. Don't hit a I camel or a donkey. Don't think it'd be very nice, but. I reckon it'd yeah. do it, but I reckon the rest of your car would end up. Bit of added protection and safety for you and your family and your vehicle. Yes. What's on the front though? We've got there is a carbon winch and yes. some road vision spotlights. Look at that. No, it's not carbon. No, Look it's a Sherpa. It is a Sherpa. Look, that was my bad, guys. Sorry, guys. It's a Sherpa yeah. winch. It's still the twelve thousand pounder though. With the remote control this and then nice a, and a plug in and a saber. Uh, soft shackle hook. Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. what we're going to call. And then look. Not that everyone wants to be caught out at night driving out there, it can get pretty bad, but you have a set of Road Vision S9 Stealth Series spotties. Which are very cool. As You've got a set of these, I do, you? I got the 3.7s. So I used to have 3.9s, which were stupidly bright. And what did you think, have them on? On the D-Max? Yeah, on, on the D-Max, on the old bar. On and old I bar. think the 3.7s that I have will be equivalent to 2.9s, but they are still stupidly bright for a little light. Um, and They're then, really good. I've got the two nines and two sevens on mine. And a light bar on the top, and 40 light inch bar. light bar on the top. That thing's ridiculous. But that's honest. just too much bonnet glare and stuff. It's a lot. It's another good for bush driving though. I suppose another Outback Essential. The UHF. The Gimme. Yeah. Changeable whips on them, you can get the longer one. This short one is I think 2.7 DBI, which if you're in hilly country, this is really good because no, it's it goes like that is Ooh, how 2. the one? The radar goes. Two there point? It is. Yeah, 2.1. 2. 1. 1. So, sorry if you were sideways. So, the, I suppose, field, the. It's like a dome the, thing. The projection that yes. this does will go out like that, whereas the taller one is 6. Point something DBI. 6.1, I'm pretty sure. And it's pretty much flat, which all out there is. And the until, you get, red. until you get to yeah. the hilly stuff, um, which is ridiculous. It's literally flat. Well, it's mostly flat. It's a desert, isn't it? it exactly, yeah. It's to... a desert. <coughs> Where, where are we going? Birdsville. Birdsville. Right out to there. Once you get to the dunes and all that, it's just meh. I mean, it's not massively hilly though. They're no, not they're huge, just, huge. There's some big ones, but like Big Red's quite a size. But well, that's that's the thing. main big one. Yeah, that's the, um, that's the biggest one. And then you just got your other crossings, but you can see how many times we've been out there, hey? Magic. <laughs> Anyway, in the first instalment of this entirety of this build, or modification, modification as Warnie likes to call it, yeah, we, didn't we didn't build, build the it, car. we modified it. Anyway, we did a rhino rack. Questions. Yeah, we did the rack with the lights. A left right light, and yeah. a front light bar, and an Invicta hybrid lithium. Yeah, so we did an underbonnet <laughs> system, lighting, the rack, that was all put on before. In addition to the rack though, there's a couple of things up there which we'll show you soon, which happened this time around. It was um, about this time last year, actually. I think it was, hey? Yeah. So I was what did we add this time around? I think we so added So did the winch, we did the Direction Plus Provent oil air separator. Do not call it a catch can. A catch can is a can of Coke with a lid cut off and pipes going into it. <laughs> that is the correct one. Why is that, Warnie? Because it has a... Filter in it. And it is a serviceable item, look people. That. See, look, condensation. So when you change the oil in your car, you should change and drain the filter in your ProVent. A lot of people think it's a set and forget item. Please don't do that. No, because when that fills up, that causes more issues than what it's worth. And yeah, it's just not worth it. So drain that every 10, same as your engine oil. Change the yeah. filter every 30 just to 40,000. Um, and look after it. Same with the pre-filter, which on the 300 series is D 
down back next to the spare tyre. It's, it's, it's not a <laughs> great spot, but no. it's near the genuine filter. Yeah. Um, we didn't make the car, Toyota did, so. Yeah. But it's got a got full it. stainless steel plate around it that protects it. It's, yeah, it's up, pretty good kit. Up high, basically up in the back panel, quarter panel yeah. of the car. Um, it's, it's quite higher solid. up than the original filter, so there you go. Yes, yes, so it's there. Winch isolator. Nice. Lift your bonnet, flick it on for your day of four wheel driving. If you don't use it, you don't use it. If you need it, you got your it's ready to go. winch remote inside. Yeah. Once you're done, just turn it off. Just prevents, for some reason, if something happens, it disconnects the power to your winch and it won't just like keep winding it on or cause any damage or issues. Which is not fun. No, it's not, not a great time at all. <coughs> That's kind of it under here, except for the hybrid, which is hiding yeah, under which is... The, the cover. If it wants to come out, there you go. Look at that, Invicta Hybrid Lithium. So it just fits in there, guys, exactly where your genuine battery is. Cool. And that is a 1000 CCA 60 amp hour uh, deep cycle capacity. And like we always say, has the cut off, so when it gets down to 15 or 17%, yeah. it'll just cut out. You either have the button on top of the battery or you can connect up to the Invicta app and press it and there'll be enough juice in that to jumpstart your car. Only thing with these, if you want to run these for all your day trips and stuff and you do have a BCDC or something in the canopy or the back, hook up an ignition source because they're a lithium, they run at a higher voltage all the time as to opposed to a lead acid. So your BCDC will just keep drawing off it until that actually goes into shutdown yeah, mode. So. Won't cut out, so you got to make sure that you do that right. Suspension warning, let's go downtown. <laughs> I'm not bending over. But you're not bending over. It is Bill Sting. I'll bend over. Oh, they yeah, are the yeah. new V60s with their Look upper control arms. They got like the little dust cap on top, which you need like a bit of a prying tool to pop that off to grease it. It is a serviceable, greasable item, so keep on top of that. Yes. Progressive coils in the rear, poly bag airbags in the rear with just manual outlets. He hasn't done in cab air controls or anything flash. Um, Tom's not going to be stupidly heavy or heavy all the time. No. They are looking at doing GVMs. It's not yet approved. They're still going through all the testing with this kit, so we will be waiting around for that. <laughs> right, after that phone call, Sorry guys, that Open was my Open country, bad. AT3s. I don't think we... We didn't do the wheels and tyres, it yes. came here with them, so... Tom had but this But we done. can source wheels and tyres, that is well, something yeah, that we, we can, can do. These. Check it out, they're methods and everything. Oh, wow. Methods. A little bit fancy, I do and like And you these. don't need flares for them either. Look, they fit inside Correct the guards. Offset, yes. So they're nice and Correct. legit. Um, oh, you know what we did forget? We... Oh yes, we got Black them. Did, did, did. Um, um, Line X, not Raptor Line X. And then underneath, there's some bash plates from Custom Off Road bash plates. Our good Whoa. friend Simon. Oh, look at that! Fully six stainless steel bash plates. I like them. I'll show you, you know, that um, the bash, not the bash plate. It's like a protection plate for the fuel filter as well. Oh yeah, you're making one of them. They reckon yeah. that stuff. They paint an egg in it and then they drop it off like a six story building and they're like, oh, the egg doesn't crack. But they I don't show you like taking the stuff off the egg to prove that it didn't crack, it just sort of bounced. I it thought was... that he was going to say, quite, quite they make weird. it with eggs. No, no. <laughs> Under there, see that fats fabrication bracket? Thanks, so that fats fabrication. Covers the factory fuel filter and then that is the Direction Plus one. Here guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get under there. You're going to want to see this because it's like tucked up in here. Look at that, so that's your OG filter up in there. The sun would get out of my eyeballs. And then here's your secondary. Look at that. So very, very tucked away. Um, that's some coils and some bags, like we said, and some more shocks. Got the water separator in there, so when she Fills up with water, just undo the drain until she dribbles out. And then in the back... Well, what's up here first? Well, that's the roof rack with a pack off-road 50 litre water tank. Yes. So you can fix your tracks on top, your boards on top, your max tracks, your treads, your Which Chinese you import them? ones, whatever you want. <laughs> Which other um, things are you using? <laughs> 
Hence why we got the pins there. Yeah, it's got a tap on the back, fill her up, just hook your little hose to it, and that's not part of the kit. You've got to supply your own hose or steal it from someone's backyard or something. Yeah, but you, could, yeah. you could do that. It's easy as. And then for all your other touring essentials, what do we got? We have a set of RV storage solution drawers. So our Ooh, friends that. down there have hooked us up, and they looked, us, looked after us really well on this one because it was a bit of a push-rush job. And they got us. Yes, got thanks, guys. To us in a record time. So it has a lock. So if you're on a hill, she's not going to run away from you. Has a little lid. Whether you're getting stuff out of your fridge and just putting it down to store it, or cutting up stuff, or have your little cooker on it. Mm. Does lift up. Ah. Now, a trick for young players, because this caught me out the other day, and I feel a bit stupid for doing it. Put this down before you push the drawer in. <laughs> Did you have your fingers there? No, it cut, <laughs> I was on the side and it smacked me in the side of the head. Oh, nice Because one. it's got a lock, you got to push the lock up, but yeah, you, as you can see, if you push it in... Not fun. It'll hit you in the head and Owies. you feel like a bit of a, bit of a, a dork. But hey, happens to the best of us. Little drawer on this side to oh. put your, I suppose, your cutlery rolls and your little stuff, your plates. Has yep. a little lid again. It's removable. So that Slidable. acts as two things. One to keep all your stuff in here so it doesn't get caught up and you can't get the drawer open. And like a shelf lid top thing, hat cover. Which is underneath the fridge slide compartment. So just standard fridge slide suits up to like a 60 litre fridge, I think. It's quite oh, a... Yes. But you have to be a certain size 60 litre. I don't think you fit like an angle in there that are quite... Large. They're wide and they low. Are wide. Mike Coleman or something would probably fit. Yep. But just has the lock. Maybe one, maybe? Yeah, maybe yeah, an yeah, element. Yeah, one of those. Oh, no, what the, what's their other ones called? Zero. Uh, or whatever zero, they are. Yeah. yeah. Just a standard lock in so she doesn't throw out in the back door. And then look at that. Pull her all the way out. And job done. Same Gee, thing. Lock. So it that. won't slide away from you. Look at that. And you got this awesome cage, which not only acts as keeping all your stuff out of the slidey part, but you got like a little thing A little here, shelf to like store some stuff. That's cool, I um, like that. Don't like go throwing heaps and heaps and heaps of weight up there and expect it to do everything. It is just a shelf on a frame that's just held together. It's not like a high-end load, load carrying capacity yeah. device. Yep. What's going on here, mate? That is a bracket from Off-Road Down Under that can house our ARB air outlet, ARB compressor switch which he is hiding under there. Oh, look at that. So ARB twin compressor, just so he's got air to blow the pump sand out, pump the tyres up, um, pump up your air mattress if that's what you got, if that's yeah, what you're that's, camping that's with. That's actually quite handy. Uh, but in the back... k -on cargo barrier. Yes, which is very cool. Uh, and if you do want something that's quite easily re removable, is probably the word. Just undo those undo knobs. Them, take your headrest things out and the whole thing can come out for you. That is probably the only downside with that one is you do have to have the seats back to Correct. hold it. Because it uses the bottom of the headrest to hold it in place. As you can see. But it's a very tidy unit, I do like that one. And then we just got the fire extinguisher mounted up there, which is one thing that's probably not talked about enough. Um, I know I've seen a lot of cases where cars have burnt down because they haven't had fire extinguishers or they have had them and they haven't been able to get to them because they haven't been in an easy spot. So if you just run around here, car's on fire, you're like, oh God, what do I do? Flick him out, grab him there, he's nice and easy too. Look, you're pretty well stuffed if you have a fire like right here and um, you like have to jump over it, but <laughs> it's an added safety. I know for a fact some insurance companies will lower your yearly price if you say you have like safety devices and stuff like that in it and don't forget they are an item that have to be test and tagged every six months service record yeah so from memory it's every six months um you can get anyone to do that but make really, sure guys yeah if you've person. got one get it checked when it needs to be checked because you'll get in that situation and yeah. you'll have a fire and you'll pull the trigger and she'll go <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it, you're done. And then <laughs> you're out. And then your insurance is like, what about your fire extinguisher? And you're like, oh, I didn't keep it up to date. Yeah, didn't have it. It doesn't work. And Another, this one for you. is probably 
dedicated to the desert and beaches and whatnot, especially like Stockton. It says it's a Sabre on it. Sabre sand flag. Ah. I haven't actually seen one of these, but we're gonna all learn we're together. We're gonna do it here together, guys. Look, it's got a little thread. Because it's got another to thread. be in the desert, you have to have a sand flag that is a certain amount of meters off the ground if it's on your ball bar and correct. then a certain amount of meters off the ground if it is on your roof rack. Very correct. Obviously, wow, this, this, is, this is kind of... The one of that is pieces. on your ball bar has to be taller than the one that's on your roof rack mm. because your ball bar is closer to the ground than this the roof is, rack. This is really warning. Yes, this that's very straight facts. Facts, yo. Oh, facts. look, they got the little connect thing that can put it wherever you want. How yeah, good. Do they give you a flag? Yeah, it's just, it's, just it's stuck in there. Give me with it. Please hold. Yeah, and these sorts of life they do have to be an approved certified flag, so you can't just get any orange like flag. A face, uh, like a safety vest and just tape it on the top? Yeah, you can't can we do, do that. that? Oh, we or can't. your missus's red knickers can't do that either. Just because it's bright doesn't mean you can do it. Just <laughs> because it's bright. Oh. So yeah, they just <laughs> screw it together. together. Yeah, nice good. and easy. Look, one thing I would say is try and put it back so all the threads stay clean and dirty. They are just aluminium threads, so don't expect them to be clean forever. all the time yeah. and a forever thing. They will wear down. Um, Look after them, yeah. But yeah, and then your little flag just zip ties to the end and then and everyone can see you coming over the dunes. Ah, oh, look at that. <whistles> well, that's got to be handy then, eh? Oh, one thing I forgot to mention in the previous part of the build, I did put a little core light up here in the back, so you do have lighting in the rear when you are fridging and tabling and things like that. So it's great storage back here. Fantastic because you can stack. Uh, we did put the sail rail in place as well at um, Tom's request. Stop stuff moving around, tie it down. That too, exactly. So that's the bum end. Because um, this is a VX. VX, yes. VX, so it does have switch blanks. Oh, we did the There's safety day. There's a few in here. So safety he can hook Dave. up to his Obviously caravan. He is towing at some point, isn't see he? See that. Um, mm. Which I thought was cool. I haven't seen this before. Did he mount this? Yes. So That's we Tom. fit a UHF last time and put the pass through that's down right, here. I did, yes. Because there's not many spots for them to do it here, and there's a bunch of blank space behind there, and it sits nicely. But I don't know where this came from. But um, it's quite cool. I think I know where that came from. I can't remember of it right yeah. now. But so we might put a link uh, in the description to something like that for you. Nice, easy area to get to. You can just grab it. Yeah, very Look, cool. Look, if you really want to, you could just yell at it and speak to it there without moving it. Um, it, it does works. just clip in there. So that's all it is. Just slides up in between it. I suppose if you want to pull the double sided, yeah, for a little this bit more uh, double side stuff off the tape, a. it'll stick. But that's cool though, it's especially if you only want it like you know, for, if you're going on a trip. Yeah, and you don't want to use it all the time. Yeah. It's just there, saves it sitting down here. I know they do them for the 200s underneath that they panel. Do they like clip in, thing. and they do do them for the 70 series. They like bolt into the ears of the uh, head unit. Mm -hmm. But so yeah, there's options out there. Options that's, out there. Pretty much it, your little Sherpa winch remote. Push the button, in, out, in, out. Oh, floor mats too. Oh, yes. Max liner, for the win. They're a good 3D mat. molded, yeah. easy fit. Super easy They fit. always fit. Um, they Just stick them in the sun for a little bit before in. you throw them in. Yeah, that way they will send molded They'll send, they'll send the rear ones folded up, because if they send them open, it's quite a big box. Yeah, um, so save on So sleep. yeah, let, sit, them, sit them in the sun. They go, not soft, but no. they just, become more usable. They form a little bit better. Uh, rear ones also, look at that. Skaboosh. Great coverage. And when they get sand and dirt and stuff all over them, you can just yeet them out and wash them wash down. Wash them down, scrub them, do everything you want. Yeah, so exactly. That pretty much concludes Tom's build. Um, I hope he has a fantastic trip and that he takes a lot of photos to show off. Come in, check out the new shop with all the new signs and everything come say good day and we will see you in the next episode sure will bye guys have a great time and click this video if you wanted to watch something different and maybe that one if For you want to watch something that's involved in who knows ranger things dmax things all sorts of things bloody noisy Catch truck